Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we discuss about CPU affinities in Process Lasso. For that we need to go to options, CPU and CPU affinities. So CPU affinities control which CPU cores a process is allowed to use. So once we have set the CPU affinities for a process, the threads of that process will only be scheduled for that set of CPUs. This is useful to limit the maximum CPU consumption of a process or to optimize which CPU cores are dedicated to a specific app or game or a service. Multi-group uh, processes, these are the type of processes that they use more than 64 logical CPU cores. They have system restrictions on CPU affinities. And Process Lasso always makes the best effort to move threads to your chosen CPU affinity. But the new threads of a CPU won't be constrained to the desired CPU affinity without continuous reapplication of the affinity. Process Lasso will do this automatically if you create a persistent CPU affinity rule. However, if you want to instead use the CPU sets feature, which we will discuss in the next video, this is a softer form of CPU affinity since it does not have these multi-group restrictions. So to create a CPU affinity, you have to create a match in here and the matches can be based on regular expressions or the name of the processes. Then once you have the name or the rule for the process, then you can select the CPU affinity from here, one or two or three or as many CPU that you want, then click OK and finally add the rule and the rule will be added here in the rules list. And once you have clicked OK in here, then that CPU affinity rule will be persistently and forever be added to Process Lasso. Let's click Cancel for the time being. Here from the processes list, we also have the ability to change the CPU affinities of a singular and particular process using the right click context menu. We come to CPU affinity and if we want it to be temporary then we come to current and if we want it to be persistent then we go to always. Current will only affect the process until the system is not restarted. And if we set the CPU affinities using the always menu then these settings will be persistent and you have to manually remove them. So from always then we come to select CPU affinities select the CPUs that we want the process to work with and then click OK. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned.